Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula, and today I'm gonna to be doing a what I eat in a day video. Um, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I have been eating a low carb ketogenic diet now for just over a year. I started eating keto last November because of some health issues that I was having. I tell everyone that I truly believe 100% that this way of eating was an answer of prayer. For me, I had prayed for a long time. I had a lot of health issues going on for a few years and I was just praying for an answer for these health issues. And I just kind of stumbled up on this keto diet and thought I would try it. I've always been for the most part a really healthy eater. I tried a vegetarian diet, a healthy vegetarian diet that my rheumatologist had recommended to me. I tried it for months and I had no changes in my body. I had tried a few different things. I tried gluten-free, I tried other things. And I really wasn't getting better. So I decided to try keto. And over this past year, it has dramatically changed my health in a good way. I have some videos in my playlist down below of my health issues and things that I have gone through and you can go and check those out. I won't go into all of that, but this keto lifestyle has made a huge difference in my life, in my health, and I will continue to live this way. And that's why I call it keto lifestyle now. I don't call it a keto diet. So I like to do these what I eat in a day videos because they're pretty popular on my channel. I also try to include a recipe or two in my what I eat in a day videos. So if you find this type of content interesting, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I like to try to put out at least one video a week. Sometimes I do two or three, depending on how busy my week is. So make sure you share this video with anyone that is having any problems with migraines joint pain, inflammation, anything like that, share this video with them. I have had testimonies from people that have told me that a friend shared my video with them and now they are eating this way and their health is changing for the better as well. So please share it with anyone who's experiencing any of those kind of problems. Go ahead and start sharing with you what I'm eating today. It is right now 10 after 10 and I haven't had anything to eat yet. I do intermittent fasting. Most of the time I start eating around 11 or 12 in the morning, and then I try my best to wrap up my eating by 5.30 and be done by six o'clock. And so that's usually my pattern. But I always start my mornings with black coffee, and I usually drink a couple of cups of coffee while I'm fasting. I also drink water. This morning, I only took about four sips of my coffee. And those of you who have watched my videos, you know that I love my coffee. And it was really hard not to finish that coffee. So I have an appointment today at 11 o'clock and caffeine is not recommended for this appointment. Just over a year ago, I had my eyebrows microbladed and I'm going now for my yearly touch-up. And it is recommended that you do not drink caffeine before the appointment. So that is all I've had. And my appointment is actually at 11 o'clock, which is usually right around the time I'm starting to get ready to eat. And it's usually about an hour long for the appointment. So I probably won't be eating till about 12.30 or one o'clock today. So when I get back from my appointment, I will show you what I'm gonna have for my first meal, and then we will go on from there. So I'm back from my appointment. It is 12.30 and I am so hungry. I actually had to stop at Tim Hortons on the way home and grab a coffee because I just needed coffee. So I grabbed a medium coffee with some cream. So I have a little bit of chili here that I had in the refrigerator left over from a couple of days ago. I have actually been eating this over the past couple of days. This is a really good chili recipe. I will link it down below. And so I'm gonna actually just warm this up and put a little bit of cheddar cheese on top of this. And that is gonna be my first meal for today. And then I am going to have a piece of my peanut butter fudge. I just made this yesterday. I will link this down below for you as well. If you're looking for a fudge recipe for the holidays, for Christmas time, this is a great fudge recipe. It's really easy. You just make it in the microwave and just put it in the refrigerator and you have a nice little fudge. Let me open it up here and show you. The peanut butter I use for this is just ground peanuts. If you can find that, that is the best option. 
Um, if you can't find fresh ground peanuts, just get the peanut butter in the stores that's just peanuts. Sometimes it has peanuts and salt. So try to stick with those. Stay away from the peanut butters. They have sugars and seed oils in them. I'll probably have one or two of these, probably two. Well, that's what I'm going to eat for my first meal of the day. I will see you the next time I eat. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I just wanted a little something before dinner, just a little snack. I like to try to keep my refrigerator stocked with things that I can grab quickly in case it's a busy day or if I just want a quick snack. If you're not prepared, sometimes you can set yourself up for failure. I really try to keep things like hard boiled eggs. I like to cook up a big batch of bacon at once and keep bacon in the refrigerator. I like to have jerky and sausage sticks and cut up veggies in the refrigerator. Celery is a good one. I like to keep that in there so that I could grab that, spread some cream cheese on it if I need a quick snack. So I am having, for a snack, I'm having a hard boiled egg with some Redmond salt on it. Also having two sausage sticks. These are from Aldi. They're the zero sugar um, spicy jalapeno ones and I'm all out. I gotta go back and get some more but these are good little snack sticks. So I'm also gonna have an unflavored sparkling water. This is an Aldi brand one. This will tide me over until dinner. Um, today I am making chuck steaks. These are steaks that we got when we purchased half of a cow a few months back. So I'm gonna be getting that together pretty soon and when I do, I will show you how I make it. I'll see you okay, soon. Okay, so this is how I make my chuck steaks. It's very easy. I have my oven preheating right now to 375 degrees. And this is the chuck steaks. Look how big these things are. These things are gigantic. So all I do for this, I have some olive oil in this bowl and I am going to put some pepper in here. I have some smoked salt here from Redmond's. This is the hickory flavored. I think it's my favorite. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of the smoky salt in here. Some garlic powder. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. And because I love rosemary on steak, I'm gonna be putting in some rosemary. And that is it. I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm just going to pour this over the steaks. And I have a little brush here. I'll just brush it over. And I'm going to do both sides of the steak. I'm going to flip these over and do the other side. brushed on. So I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to bake them until they are medium, just a little bit pink on the inside. And so I don't know how long that's going to take. So I'm just going to keep my eye on it and I'll show you when they're done. So here are my steaks. Look so delicious. I'm letting them rest for a few minutes. I have some green beans in the microwave that we made the other night with bacon in them, and so I'm just warming them Dinner up. Dinner is done. I put just a little dollop of herb butter that I make on top of my steak, and I have some green beans with bacon here. I make my green beans different ways. These are fresh green beans that I stir fried in some bacon fat with bacon pieces. Sometimes I'll add mushrooms, sometimes I'll add Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and eat and I'll see you in a few. So it is after dinner and I am having a coffee. I feel like I get, didn't get enough coffee today with just my one coffee. And so this is just heavy cream that I've frothed up in this frother. I'm making an espresso. It is a peppermint pinwheel. It's a Christmas flavor. And I'm going to be adding some stevia drops. I'm gonna be using peppermint just to give it a little bit more of a peppermint flavor because honestly, I don't think the coffee has a strong peppermint taste. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of the stevia drops. Look at that foam, that looks so delicious.
comes home from work and he's in the living room watching some TV. So I tucked myself away in my new little room. This is a room that is right off our kitchen and I have a small kitchen in this house. This room used to be my office and sort of like a catch-all room. Because I'm filming so many videos now, I decided to turn this room into like sort of an extension of my kitchen. So I put my coffee bar in here and I put some shelves up behind me with some of my appliances. Over here, I sort of have an overflow pantry to hold all the foods that I use a lot. They take up a lot of space in our cupboards, so I move them into here so I can access them easily. A lot of these foods over here I have discount codes for, and so I just thought it was neat to be able to have all that in this room and have my little coffee bar here where I could come in and make my coffee, my tea, whatever I'm having. So for today, I'm gonna be enjoying this coffee for dessert, and that is all I'm gonna be eating for the rest of the night. It is, 20 to six, so I'm right on the schedule. I'll finish up this coffee and then I won't be having anything else besides water and black coffee until tomorrow when I eat again. So that is my video for today. Make sure you subscribe and give my video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow. I will see you very soon. Have a great day and God bless.